Hi, this is Trish with Australian Labradoodles Midwest Connection. I am here with Anna, one of our Australian Labradoodles. Anna is um, a mini. She's um, a large mini, I should say. She weighs about 25 pounds when as full grown here. She had a litter, this litter of puppies on August 26th, so these puppies are just three days old. They're strikingly beautiful with the deep dark reds that this litter threw. The father, or the sire to this litter is Dublin. Both of these uh, adult dogs can be viewed on my Meet the Parents page of my website. Uh, she did have six of them. There were two boys and four girls. And there still is one available to be adopted, which is this orange collared puppy right here. I'm just going to show you this beauty. Oops, 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 come here you. Here's her little face. All their noses are pink yet. They turn uh, in, a, in another couple days, a uh, week or so, they'll turn probably most likely black. So this little girl is still available. She's kind of um, a light brown in it, actually. She's not a cream. She's really like a light brown. Beautiful pup. And um, the, this is the gray collared puppy right here. The female. I believe this one's going to be held back for my guardian program. I haven't quite made the final decision on that yet. She's just a beautiful red, smaller pup. And then we've got um, the, let's see, the lime green collar. And let's see, I'm looking at my notes here. This is another little girl here. Just a second away, so she's not too happy with me. That's the lime green girl. Just a doll. These all have uh, fleece coats. Initially, they looked like they were going to be a little wavy, but I believe they're going to all be just fleece, which is a straight coat, very much like Daddy Dublin. Okay, um, the next one is this stunning boy who's got the red collar on. He is just fantastic, as they all are, but he is so dark. He's just a very dark, dark pup. Very dark red, just stunning. If he had been a girl, I would have kept this one back. No such luck. But look at that face. He's just beautiful. Okay, so that's one of the boys. Um, the orange one, I said, is the one that's still available. This teal collared puppy, or the collar of its, the color of its collar, they have the most beautiful square heads I think I've yet ever seen yet. Just stunning. It's like she has a, it's almost like a mink coat. It's just a beautiful, beautiful coat on this pup. It just shines. And that's the, uh, another female here. That's our teal one. And then we have the uh, gray one is the one I'm going to hold back. And then this is the violet collar. See if I can turn her around. That's the violet. Beautiful pup. Again, the same silky look to their coats. They're just stunning. They're really very, very happy with this pairing. She's just gorgeous. So that's the other one of Anna's. Um, these puppies will um, not be going home for eight weeks, so they've got some growing time yet and as you can see, Mom is doing a fantastic job uh, just eating and feeding them and taking care of all their needs right now. So in about uh, another seven days or so, their eyes will open up and uh, they'll have a whole different look to them. And uh, that'll be on, on the next video that I take of them. So again, the, the only pup that is still available is this orange one right here. So if you're interested in it, in her... You can uh, go to my Contact Us tab on my website, or you can call me at 262-628-3522. Um, these puppies, the few that I've had uh, available, have been just snatched up very quickly. So 
she still is available. Now I'm going to go into the other, I'm in the birthing room right now with Anna, and then we have a second room right next to here where Molly is, and Molly also had a litter of puppies on the 20th of August, so I'm going to just go over to this side and cross over to that room, so bear with me. And there's Molly, as content and happy as can be. She's such a good mama, wondering who's coming in here. And you can see the difference in size in these. And they're only, my gosh, I think about uh, a week or a week apart. So these are one week old, or a little over a week old. They were born the 8th of August. And I still have a few available from this litter which is surprising, but true. Um, let's see. The lime green girl right here is spoken for. That's her right here. This is our lime green collared puppy. Just stunning, absolutely gorgeous. She's looking for a teat right now. And their eyes will be open in about another week. She's got a pretty straight coat with just a slight wave it looks like she's going to have. So um, very similar, I, I would guess, to um, Molly's coat. But a straight coat, nonetheless, a fleece coat. Beautiful puppy. Big chunk. I call this a chunk of change right here. She's liking to yawn also. She is sweet. Okay, we're going to put her back on the pile. And then we've got the pink collar who's going to town here. This is an apricot puppy. It's in the red family but it's not a deep dark red. Almost could look uh, past as a brown. Black nose. Let's see how the noses have turned pink after a few days. Um, this puppy is spoken for already. This lovely little girl. So she we don't have a name yet for her or for, it, for that, the first one either. So waiting for the families to give us a name. But this is the pink collared puppy. Just so cute. <laughs> Just adorable. Okay, then from there we have the orange. Well, let me go to the last one. This is, uh, let's see, right down here. Oh, there we go. Pull you off. This one doesn't have a collar, and that's how I know her, of, know her as. She's a sm little bit smaller than the other ones, but not much. Her name is Layla. They have named her, and she is spoken for, obviously. This is our little Layla. She's just stunning. Mama's checking her out. Beautiful girl. There's Layla. Pretty little ears and a nice, nice, beautiful coat. Very fleece coat, uh, straight coat. And also, this is uh, Molly and Keeper's Litter. So both fantastic dogs, great dispositions. There's Mama licking up all her babies. So now the next puppies that I show are still available for adoption. The first one being this orange collar right here. She's available. She is so cute. She's got a little, oh my God, adorable face on her. Very, very square, which is what you want. The stops are the nose and they look fantastic. You want that short face, not a pointy nose. And these have the best stops, I'm telling you. Gorgeous puppy here. She's just uh, got a full belly and wants to sleep right now, but I'm going to bring her out for show and tell here. So that's the orange collared pup, still available. Just beautiful. And light blue, this one right here, is also available. Just a, a, These are in the cream family, obviously. This one has a beautiful little white marking on its forehead, which a lot of people love that look. I think it's adorable. And... Uh, Again, the squareness to their heads are, are just what every breeder wants. This is such a beautiful Australian Labradoodle puppy. Um, and nice and stocky. They're not poodle looking at all. They're very uh, boxy, uh, which is what you get from the lab in the mix. So let's see. So this little girl here is also available. So the orange, orange one and the light blue collar. Um, and then this big boy, where is my big boy? Uh, oh, big boy is right here on the teat. This guy is available. He's the biggest one of the litter. And 
he, let's see. He's a little bit in the apricot family. He is, a, you can see why he's the biggest boy. He is just going to town. I don't have a collar on him because he is the, the um, only boy in the litter of seven puppies. So all girls and this one male is still available. So I'm just going to turn him a little bit so you can see the other side. I'm going to slip him off. He's not going to be happy with me, but he's got a little white spot or diamond on his forehead. He's looking for that mama's teat, teat right now. And uh, just so sweet, just adorable. And what a, what a big, big, chunky puppy. He's probably going to weigh, when full grown, about 30 pounds. So he's crying. He says, where did that mommy go? So that's the cute one. And he's still, obviously, he's available yet. And then the last one that I have available is the dark green puppy right here. Um, also... Uh, dark green collar. Also a little bit like a brownish look. Look at these two snuggling. How sweet is that? Um, so this little boy, or excuse me, this little girl is still available with the green collar on. Look at her. She is so cute. <laughs> and she's just got a little mark on her forehead too. That's a pretty common thing for them to have. A lot of people love getting that. Just one little mark. So, And a lot of times their toes and stuff might be dipped in the white um, but that's that's it. So and beautiful fleece coats on these puppies. This one's got a little little bit of milk on her mouth. How sweet is that? That's the lime green one. That one is spoken for already. So this dark green bo uh, girl is still available. I'm showing the collar there, and the light blue is still available right there. The orange, which is right here, is still available. Let's see if I can get the face on this little sweetie while she's sleeping. And that's it. Those four. Oh, the, and the big boy. And the big boy is wrapped under mommy's leg right here. That's this boy right here. He's still available. That's him. And he's still eating. So I hope you enjoyed this video of the two litters that we have currently at our home. And they're doing fantastic. The mommies get out and uh, exercise and play with the adult dogs that we have here already with us. And uh, the puppies, you can't see a better batch of content, happy puppies. And if you're interested in purchasing one of these, go to my Contact Us tab at the top of my main page. And just send me a little uh, note saying that you'd like information about these available puppies. Or you can call me at 262 six two eight three five two two and i'd love to discuss you uh, the possibility of you adopting one of these puppies this is the first time in since i've begun breeding in 2005 that i've had puppies available like this for adoption and they're quickly disappearing which i knew they would um, but because i had two litters so close together we had a little bit of an overflow which is wonderful so don't hesitate if you're interested in one of these little scrum beauties here and give me a give me a holler. I look forward to talking with you. If uh, you have any questions, you can certainly just call that number also and I'd be happy to just uh, address any questions. Have a great evening. Thank you.